welcome to my channel. This is a cold day to fly FPV. It is currently, currently 21 degrees Celsius. What is that in Fahrenheit? Well, it's over here someplace, I think. Anyways, I'm out here today because I have a new drone by HGLRC called the Sector X5. The reason they call it the X5 is because it's an X shape and it is from the lineage of the Sector 5. This is the last Sector 5. I flew this before. I love this drone. This is a drone I fly at night because I have little lights. I put a light kit on it. It flies really cool at night, glows and everything. It's a lot of fun flying this one. So I got to assume this updated version has got to be really good as well. Now, from what I'm told, they sent me this before it's even on the market. So it wasn't really finished when they sent me this version here. When you watch this video, this drone is then now on the market. So uh, when they sent this to me, this is what they told me. They said it's going to come in an X version as well as a dead cat version. So they'll call it a Sector 5X or a Sector 5D. Other things I can tell you about this that I know at this time is it comes in analog and HD versions. This is once again the digital version. So there's a CAD-X Polar camera in mine. It also comes in a 4S battery version or a 6S battery version. And I'm looking down because I brought some 6S batteries. I've got this uh, 1300 uh, R-Line really 120c rated 6s so this should be really good out here although it's frozen right now also when they sent me this drone they sent it so fast they forgot to give me an antenna so this is the antenna i stuck on it i don't know if this is the one that comes with it and when i compare the old version with the new version uh the new version is lighter than the old version they call these drones freestyle race drones both of them have gps rescue on them i don't know why they put gps rescue on freestyle race drones because freestyle race drones are designed to go very fast and you just keep them close to you. you don't fly them far away that you need gps rescue but they stuck it on anyways i guess some people want it so they put the gps rescue there so i'm going to show you footage looking out the camera up front the digital camera through my fpv goggles as well i'm going to put a dji action camera on it this little square thing it's going to fit on the front since it's so sunny out here today i have free well filters over the dji action if you put filters on a sunny day over an action cam when you're moving fast it looks so much better you just get such a smoother looking image in the end all right so i'm going to take my frozen body and go fly this here we go i don't know how i'm going to fly this with gloves on either i'm not a glove guy for flying fpv drones but uh, we'll try it it's just so cold since it is digital i have to use the dji fpv controller because i did not put a receiver in mine one really cool feature i forgot to mention is that they made this more for beginners so that you just plug your battery into the back there's no cable coming off the back that you plug a battery into because they say that beginners oftentimes they're not used to it so they'll get it dangling and their props will chew it up and of course your drone just dies in midair so this here all i do is this watch i'm gonna do it right now i'll plug it in the back it's just gonna come to get that in there oh i'm so frozen there we go and i got, <laughs> got my glove stuck in there anyways it's in the back then i just wrap it forward and uh, strap it down with the uh, battery strap and we're all good to go gotta take the gloves off for this next part because this velcro will stick to my gloves and then i can't do anything this would be so much easier in warmer weather there's nobody out today it's just too cold this cable is frozen can i straighten it oh there we go <laughs> this is not going to be good with gloves on this has no audio on it because it's a dji controller and they forgot to put audio in these things so modes i think that's i think that's acro mode oh ho, ho, the arm works good okay so arming works i can't fly at all with gloves on i can't feel anything so i'm taking a layer of gloves off that's better i can feel i can feel it now all right here we go straight up fly baby all right let's bring it back to me and just make sure she's a-okay i see a tree coming let's go around it there should be no kids out here because it's too cold. They'll all get frostbitten. So let's just bring it back. It's nice. Go through here. If it's a little jerky motions when you see me moving, it's because my hands are cold. But I will say one thing. I'm just going in a circle here. It is fast. This is a fast drone. I don't even know if I could slow it down. Let me see if I could slow oh, this metal pole there. Let me see if I could slow it down here. All right. Coming down, coming down, coming down. Pull back. I'm pulling back. Ho, 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 ho. This is slow speed. This is as slow as I can get it. Now here, I'm going into the sun, so I want you to look at the sides on the video from the drone itself. See the props? That's why people buy the dead cat version because they don't want the props to be showing like that. So let's go back this way. I'm just cruising really slow now. I've got it going nice and slow. This thing is a freaking race drone. All right, look at the beautiful, look at the beautiful scenery. So this is pretty much as slow as I can get it with the camera facing up as high as it is. So I'll come down nice and low. Looks really good. I don't know what the flight time is on this with the 6S. I'm going to assume the flight time is five minutes, you know, like five minutes in a cold day like today. That would be your flight time. Uh, there's a fence. We're going to go up here and uh, 
Let's go this way. See, if I fly slow like this, f flight time should last quite a while. My teeth are about to chatter, but uh, yeah, let's just follow, follow other people's footprints, see where they're going. And then go the same way. Come this way. Go this way. Oh, there's a fence and some trees under and then up. So a lot of you probably want to see if this can do freestyle. So I'll just take it over to this other field over here where there's nobody underneath. And we'll just do some simple freestyle. So there we go. We'll face that way and a nice spin. Let's try a slower one. Let's go this way and a slow spin. Let's see, coming down to the ground. Oh yeah, lots of power to pull out of the ground. That's nice, 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 nice. And if you do a forward flip, yeah, no problems there. And a backwards flip, go fast. This is a really good drone. All right, so now everybody wants to know what's my impressions of this drone? Well, I have flown the previous version, the Sector 5. And as I mentioned, it is my drone that I like to fly in the summertime at night. And because of that, uh, flying at night with it, it's a blast because of the lights on it. It looks really cool for spectators that are watching you fly, especially when you're coming down low to the ground and going through and under things. So this one here, it reminds me of the same thing. It's got just as much power. Watch this, I'm gonna race back. There we go, I'm gonna go fast. There we go, coming back quickly. You can hear it screaming. Uh, bring it overhead, screaming. Hear that? It's a very fast drone. This is this is a race drone. This is for somebody that wants to be king of their area, king of the field, just flying super fast. So let, let me just bring it over to the car here. We'll get it in some of the cameras here. I'll show you flying. I'll pull it back. Get it going nice and slow. Get away from the lamp post. I'm gonna go this way. Turn around in the field, and we'll get it nice and slow. Here we go without crashing. Let's bring it down. Come over here to the right of these bushes. Nice and low. It's got so much power. If I had my bigger gloves on, it'd be worse. These little gloves, at least I could kind of control it, but there we are. So there I am there. I'm gonna fly between me and the car. So you should see it in one of these cameras as I go by nice and slow. There it is. I'm sure they're gonna sell a pile of these things because they're just like so uh, freaking awesome. For if you want freestyle, you want race, look at that, going slow and now I'm gonna pick up speed. Look at that, wing, <laughs> just goes. Oh, I just got a low voltage warning when I picked up speed there. I am using really high end batteries, but uh, yeah, it works really well. And of course, if you wanna check out what is the lifting power of this, we'll let go, watch. Up in the air, low voltage, and there we are. So massively high up in the sky. I gotta reduce the power. So it took no time to get this high up and now I can see the world. I don't know how many meters up I am, but it would be pretty darn high. And you can dive down, look at that. Dive down, here we go, we're coming straight down. Try to do this with a camera drone, impossible. This is like kamikaze, coming down. If I don't lift up, we're going in the field. This is where you see the power of these drones. Here's something I haven't tried in a long time. Let me try the sliding mode. Okay, so when I first learned how to do FPV, we used to land our drones by sliding them on the ground, on pavement. So let me try that. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna slide it into my Jeep. It should just slide along the ground. Watch this, this is, this is a beginner. This is how I learned how to fly. I call it beginner because I was a beginner when I learned. So you come at yourself. So there we go, we're coming at myself. And then I put it down and there we go. You just slide like that. And just to mention, when you do slide a drone on the ground, in the olden days, when I first started in FPV, drones did not come with sliders or skid plates. So today, pretty much all drones have 3D printed skid plates on the bottom. If I get close, you can see them right there. There's your skid plates. So those skid plates are designed kind of for exactly what I just did there. You bring it down low and just slide it on the ground. Pretty cool. All right, so let me just unplug this and uh, show you something else. Now, for those of you with a keen eye are probably wondering why there's a shroud around the drone. Let me bring it close. You can see it here. So, oh, if I get close. So hopefully it's focusing on that. So there's a shroud that goes along this side and this side. It covers all the electronics. They say that's to keep dust out, but I say it's perfect for winter time because it keeps the snow out and all the dirt and grime and the salt off the roads out when you're flying it. So that's a really good bonus. And it is quite flexible. It, uh, you can pull on it. You see, it's just, a, it's just a piece of material. And, they, and at least in mine, they gave me two extra ones in case I rip it or I want to replace them because they're dirty. I guess you could wash them. But uh, yeah, that's a neat feature. And on the front too, uh, you'll notice too with the light shining here, it's all aluminum. The whole forward section is aluminum. So if you crash into something, you can't 
break your camera, your digital camera, the aluminum will shield it from that. So should be fine there. And the carbon fiber arms are really, really thick on this baby. So it's really good. Now, the next thing I want to show you is what comes in the box for this. Now, just keep in mind, they sent me this uh, before the Chinese New Year. So it was like last minute. They sent it to me before they're even mass producing them. And uh, I assume everything that's on mine is what you will get if you buy the same one. But like I said, they were so fast to send it to me, they forgot to include an antenna. So I just took an antenna off an old HDLRC drone and put it on. Yours will come with an antenna. Mine didn't. But I think everything I'm going to show you what came in my box is what you're going to get in your box when you receive one. So uh, check this out. This is the box your drone comes in and these are the specifications of the drone shown in this video. Opening the box you'll find your FPV drone. You'll see it's constructed of plastic, carbon fiber and aluminum. Mine is the 6S version so my motors are 1900 kV. The drone comes with a mount for an external camera and a nut and bolt is included to secure the camera. Lifting one of the side shrouds reveals the digital CAD-X unit and F7 flight controller. Two sets of props are included. One set goes on your drone and the other is a spare set. Other items included in the box would be two battery straps, two extra side shrouds, as well as some documentation like your F7 flight controller, your Vista unit and your propeller direction. And let's not forget a set of stickers. Takeoff weight of the drone is 426 grams. So my final thoughts on this version of the Sector X5, well, it's, you know, it's, it's similar to the last version I flew and I really like this version and I'll put a link below to the review of this version. It's really good. Uh, some interesting things happen with this one. This one is very similar in the way it flies. I don't know if it feels more powerful. This one was really fast to start with. This one here is really fast. Like I would say if you have experience flying FPV drones, this would be a good one to get because on the 6S, you could, if you are really good at FPV, you're going to love this drone. If you're a beginner and you bought this drone and you put it on 6S and you tried to fly it and you've never flown FPV before, you'd probably hurt yourself, poke an eye out or something. You probably could reduce the chances of injuring yourself as a beginner if you got this drone by buying the 6S version but putting a 4s battery on it then it might tame it a little bit so you can try to get the idea of how to fly it but you will crash it a lot learning to fly with something like this because it is just insane this is like at the top of the top tier in the fpv hobby for drones that fly very fast do amazing things everything else this is one of them it's designed to be like that same as the sector 5 was in the past so this one's newer so everything's updated so obviously it's going to be better than the older version so you're just getting better performance. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, post them below. Hope you enjoyed this video because I'm going to go in and warm up. So if you feel sorry for me, please give this video a thumbs up and uh, I'll catch you in a future video with many more cool reviews of all types of drones and all types of RC products. All right, guys, till then, bye.